another kid in the front seat. But I'd go to Tony Little, Birmingham, Michigan, and there'd be someone with a $50,000 car with a little kid in the front seat. I know. Yeah, people. So, I mean, people, there's so much on people's minds. There's so much information out there. It can, you have to now cut through the clutter if you want to make a difference because there's so much noise out there. Yeah, so we're talking to Jason Bynes, author of uh, Why Did Jesus Drive? A Crisis PR in Cars, Computers, and Christianity. So is the book available now, or when it's coming up, and where can Arians can look for it? It'll be available November 1st uh, as an e-book, and November 15th on newsstands and through Amazon and so forth. Just to give you some context of the title, yes, well, in the last chapter, I helped the world's largest Bible company avoid a crisis when they retranslated the world's most popular Bible. But it's kind of more a crisis that the industry was in when a bunch of nutcases back in 2002, 2003 were demonizing SUVs. Uh, yeah. And they, they, were, they were burning SUV dealerships. Uh, there, was a, there was a campaign called What, Di Di what, what Would Jesus, would Jesus drive? drive? Yeah, exactly. And so I took that on in the agency I was in And I, I, I pointed out the hypocrisy of these people. They, they flew on, on private planes and lived in giant houses and then told you or I what we can drive. Exactly. But then I found, as they say, I found Jesus. I found a man, his name was Jesus Rivera. He was a <laughs> GM retiree. He was a grand, grandfather, a Vietnam veteran.